Oh yeah, this is a really good article. This is courtesy of New York Times and it talks about the creation of the Yeezy engineer by Balenci Yeezy Gap engineered by Balenciaga collaboration and it's titled Chaos and Creation Inside Making of the Yeezy Gap. In twenty twenty two in 2020, sorry, two fashion brands announced an unusual alliance. Now that goods are finally hitting stores, a Yeezy Gap, a corporate, a corporate a creative cautionary tale, or a new model for fashion to come. Absolutely incredible. So, obviously, most of you guys on this podcast would know that I'm absolutely obsessed with Demna. He is the creator of Vetema and now, obviously, the creative director or the menswear or the fashion director of Balenciaga. But effectively, what he done at Vetema for me was my awakening moment to fashion. I've always been into fashion, but I kind of got off of put off from it a few months a few years probably prior yeah maybe a couple of years before them actually launched Vetema and I kind of stopped paying attention to shows more often I just kind of checked in from here and there but as soon as Demna came around with Vetema that aesthetic that he does in terms of that kind of trashy Eastern European um, Central European or just Euro trashy type of vibe in general that he does really resonated with me because at the time as well I was spending a lot of time going to different locations in Europe especially tough places like Berlin and I saw a lot of the same character chores that she was displaying you know in that bar she was playing at as well as the same people that I saw kind of at parties wherever I went out so it's nice to see that kind of reflected when, on the fashion runway when it comes to Debna and then of course he then goes and smashes at Balenciaga does a supreme job to the point where he effectively gave up his um, brand Balenciaga sorry, v Vetema to his brother Gurum who beforehand did all the business and now is kind of leading the charge in terms of putting that collection together but one of the things that's always kind of interested me going forward has always been um, dance music clothing dance music centered clothing like is that something you would ever ever yes yeah, so the Yeezy Gap thing uh, clothing yeah that's what I'm talking about so the thing that really intrigued me about this article that I really liked obviously explained the, in detail how the Yeezy Gap NG Balenciaga collaboration came together but it also cleared up a lot of things that were kind of on my mind one of the things being the lady called Mawa Loma, Mawa Loa, sorry, who was enlisted to kind of come on board and kind of lead the charge in terms of putting the collection together. When the first sort of snippets and leaks came out of the collection, where we saw that bag, we saw some blue type of coat that wasn't the coat that came out recently, but it was another coat. And then um, we didn't really hear much from that afterwards. And I guess she stopped working with Kanye, um, the lady uh, Mawa Loa, Mawa Loa, sorry, and then Mawa Lola, sorry. And then um, of course she then started doing her brand again going forward now it was a bit strange because we never really got an explanation for it but i guess it's kind of cleared it up this is an article courtesy of new york times it says as follows yay whose vision according to gap was to create modern elevated basics for men women and kids at accessible price points got to work bringing in nigerian british designer mawa lola olug olugun lucy as a design director and testing out pieces earlier september summer 2022 um, Miss Oluglusi left after a year at the expiration of her contract. So it was always a one-year contract, which is another surprising thing to me because I think there was a lot of speculation online that they had a falling out, that something happened behind the scenes, which it probably could have still happened. It could be lined as one year, one year contract kind of expired, but that kind of helps to clear up that rumor going forward. And then I really like some of the comments from Demna regarding his creative process with Kanye and how that put, got put together. Um, where is it? Connection here with Kadimna. Where is it? Da, da, da. Lawson. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, yeah, this is the one. So, um, though he was busy with several Blanchard collections, Demna said he felt he the need to be there for him and help him create the solid foundation for the easiest, the year aesthetic in, on which they can now build to accelerate the process. Hence the name of the collaboration engineered by Balenciaga. They were, the, Demna said, engineering the prototypes in Balenciaga studio in Paris and Zurich after he and Ye talked or text through the ideas, which is absolutely incredible. Really, really cool going forward. Um, interesting, interesting enough, I think they mentioned in the article that this is a one-time only collaboration and that they're going to switch around the designers. But then Kanye went on the comments and replied to that story that was published on Instagram. And basically said, nah, we're going to have loads more coming forward going with um, the Balenciaga and Gap collection which I think is good going forward because I'd like to see them iterate that idea a little bit more. And I also think, unfortunately for Gap also, unless they've got Kanye involved in this collaboration, they're not going to be able to get Demna to do it either because unless they pay him an absorbent amount of money. So it's great that they're able to kind of tap into that kind of um, resource with Kanye and Demna's relationship. And it continues here. It says, lots of talking and thousand images shared, he said, on their exchanges. They talked about how Ye wanted fabric that is very light, but also warm and makes sound. 
kind of like nylon, but not like nylon. Things that seem to be impossible or very hard to make technically. The interesting thing about this is that this also reflects um, and also is quite similar to how people talk about Virgil, RIP the Dead, and about his way of collaborating, right? And how he would like to kind of send pictures on Instagram, send pictures via WhatsApp, um, annotate stuff via iMessage and all that sort of good stuff. And that's how he basically was able to build collections while being on the on the go and not kind of relying on all the time having sit down meetings or going on Zoom. He could always kind of do stuff on the fly on his phone. And I guess that kind of work ethic and that kind of way of working is something that Kanye does as well. Maybe he learned it from Kanye, I'm not sure going forward, but it does make a lot of sense for these guys who are kind of always on the move, always have a million projects going on that at one point you have to utilize your smartphone and these days smartphones you know what was that graphic that came out a while back that showed like a, how much more powerful a regular iphone is compared to like a regular macbook pc back in the day do you know what i mean it continues here it says yeah he's not really interested in fashion at all which is interesting development interesting insight here from demna he's not interested in fashion at all he wants to know how can you make a new version of a hoodie what's next and what do we want to wear in 20 years which makes a lot of sense because for the entire time he's promoting gap you heard him talk a lot about wanting to make the perfect um hoodie right the perfect hundred dollar hoodie that you could wear you know in any occasion that was essentially bulletproof um bloody blah 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 and you never heard, went, heard him once mention anything to do with fashion it was always stuff to do about you would assume practicality um resourcefulness and all that sort of good stuff it was never ever ever to do with oh i have the ability to make this stuff and i'm just going to make it for fashion's sake no it's always to be practical and i love it because it also echoes one of the main things i remember loving when i heard uh, Rick Owens interview for the first time where he essentially said that he always makes his jackets with um, book readers in mind or people that like to eat on, on the move and when they grab a sandwich so he's made them always big enough where you can stick a book in and big enough where you can stick a you know a sandwich like you know maybe an apple a sandwich whatever else you want to stick in there and I like the way that Kanye kind of approaches fashion the same or clothes making the same way where it's about the shape materials more so about anything else and it continues here it says then Demna said once, the shape was there, I would make a decision, okay, it's ready, we launch it. At that point, we would he would send images, um, the designs to Ye and Gap teams in Los Angeles, after which they would start the process of trying to industrialize them. Ye also went to Paris, and Miss Lawson said prototypes were also created by Yeezy Gap team in Los Angeles and categorized the teamwork as a partnership. There are, the, me being on board, giving him resources, Demna said, so there could be an amount of letting go and to the close, which are, the, so yeah, so it's absolutely incredible. I love everything about it. Um, I really like how they put together the app to the store itself. Um, the activation inside the store has been really cool to see from people who have been sharing a lot of the images on there. They've got all the clothes lined up on these really um, basic, minimal looking black rails and then they've also got them in these massive industrial bags that you'd find in like work sites and stuff that are usually full of cement or other things that they're transporting and they've got all the clothes piled up in there as well going forward which is pretty cool to see so you get to really touch and feel smell and experience the clothes once you're digging in trying to find them i also like the activation they did outside where they kind of have all the clothes in like trash bins and stuff that was really cool people obviously with the with the anna record is showing you people with the dove logo back hoodie thing going on there you got the snapback hat that was definitely inspired by a collection from Demna which I really like the look of something he's been wearing a while here um, out and about and stuff and yeah loads of really good stuff here available and I can't wait to see most of more of it get available online and in stores I might end up buying maybe an anorak or a hoodie going forward you got the shades that Kanye wore at um what's it called what's that festival called Rolling Loud they look really good on Northwest there. Really, really nice. And then you've also got kind of this comment here where he basically um, clarifies that Yeezy Gap engineered by Balenciaga is actually just the beginning. God bless you. So it's not going to stop now. It's going to continue going on despite what Demon basically said. That it's only a one-year contract. Um, so that's pretty cool to see. Um, I wonder who's going to be featured on it. He's got some guy wearing the Yeezy Gap hoodie himself. I heard the sizing is a bit crazy, so be careful about what size you're basically ordering these. Um but yeah man all good all good all bloody 